right, here we go. Oh, that says uh, Sanchez is two and two here. Oh, he's two and two. Either way, both two fighters two. have fought in the cage before. Both fighters looking to get another win. Here we go. Flyweight action, touch gloves. Let's get the action going. Mark standing in the southpaw stance. Both fighters just kind of filling each other out right now. Liviana kind of throwing a faint jab, looking for that takedown. Excellent nice takedown defense by Oscar Sanchez. Yeah. Got Mark Labiano in the uh, white shorts and uh, Oscar Sanchez in the gray shorts. Good takedown dude by Oscar, pushes him off. Good. Oscar Sanchez out there throwing haymakers, man. Very good, good body kick though by, by Mark Labiano. Oh, fakes it, goes for that single leg, can't get it. Good sprawl by Oscar Sanchez. Great job. Sanchez looks pretty composed, ready. Nice and relaxed, good hands, good takedown defense. You can definitely tell that Mark Lagan wants this to go to the ground so he can utilize his jiu-jitsu game. Yeah. Oh, lands a good right hand, then gets the shot. And Mark Sanchez Oscar again. Sanchez once again. I don't know about, the, oh, it looked like it was going for a guillotine choke, Mark Lagano there, but it's good cage pressure. Looks like he's gonna try to drop down and hit that uh, double leg. Sanchez backs up, gets him off. Sanchez throws a ball kick. Like we said, this flyweight class, I mean, both these fighters very fast, and you're gonna see a lot of punches thrown, you're gonna see a lot of action happen. Oscar Sanchez is staying very aggressive, coming forward the whole time. Mark Lebiano looking around that knee. Forward. Good job pairing that front kick. Lands another right hard to Oscar Sanchez's head there. Lebiano keeping good pressure on him. Labiano's doing good, mixing up his strikes with the shots. Even though he's not really getting the shots, he's still giving that look and uh, still landing some shots. Sanchez lands a good left hook. Throwing haymakers right now. He's just a big right hand, nice. Both fighters stoned for the fences. I'll tell you what, in this 125 pound weight class, both these guys are showing what it is to be a flyweight. Oh, Oscar Sanchez goes for the take down the end of the round and barely misses it. So, you know, just by judging that first round, I gotta say Oscar Sanchez, you know, he was throwing a lot of punches, going for the takedown. He was controlling the cage. Libiano did land the better significant strikes, but I got to give that to Oscar Sanchez. That was a very good first round. And Sanchez seemed to control the cage, like I said. Yeah. And, you know, he was pushing the pace on that fight, I got to say. Yeah, Oscar kept coming forward, staying right in uh, Labiano's face. And, was, you know, he landed a few good shots of his own and kept coming forward, stuffed every takedown pretty much. And I think Oscar Sanchez got away with that first round. You know, it's a little weird, Mark Lemiano's out there, he's throwing his right hand a lot, and he's standing in the southpaw position. He's throwing it like it's his power hand. Maybe someone to talk to him, maybe switch him up and see if he likes being in standard, being, you know, being orthodox, but. All right. All right, here we go, round two on the way. Oscar Sanchez versus Mark Labiano. We got Sim Go and Darren Keekley and Mark Labiano's corner, probably telling him that he needs to utilize his jab more, we try to throw more punches to set up that double leg. Here we go. Oscar with a big inside leg kick again, throws it. Counts the combo. Oh, and he drops him. Oh, and the fight's over. Big right hand. I don't know if I would call, I don't know if I would have stopped that, Danny. You know the. You know, here in the amateur leagues, this uh, ref's job to protect these fighters. You know, they're fighting at an amateur level, and any sign of, you know, knockout or anything close to it, they, the ref has to be safe and jump in and, and protect the fighters. Yeah, you know, Mark Laviano, you know, he just got caught. He got in a haymaker war, and he happened to be on the bad end of it. Oscar Sanchez landed a great right hand, catching Laviano right on the chin. And, you know, what can you say? Just got to go back to the drawing board, work on your boxing. He was out for a second. You know, I understand that fighter safety is first. You know, he seemed to know what was going on after that. But, hey, it's amateur level. It's all learning experience. Right, got Great job for Oscar Sanchez getting his third win inside the cage. Oscar Sanchez was really good, you know. Stayed composed, stayed in uh, Labiano's face, and kept coming forward. And you know, when the time was right, he landed that big right hand and go, comes away with a uh, KO victory. Like I said, out of Torres' system, you know, they got good boxing. He just utilized his boxing there and got the knockout. Oh yeah. So, first two fights went to decision. Third fight submission. Fourth fight knockout. Justin Bernard to give you a win. Ladies and gentlemen, after 11 seconds into the second round, your winner by knockout, 
Oscar Sanchez. All right, so Oscar Sanchez in your winner, improving to 3-0 and in the flyweight 125 pound weight class here at Tough Enough to Future Stars MMA. He finishes his opponent, Mark Liviano, in the second round with a straight right down the pipe. Beautiful right hand. First knockout of the evening. Hey, we said the flyaways weren't going to have power, but hey, hey you never know. Never Sometimes know. you catch people, and that's what happens. The right, right moment, right button, put them away. So far, great fights here at Tough Enough to Future Stars MMA. I'm Tolan the Hawk Garcia. Dan D1 Davis Jr. And we'll be with you all night giving you the action.